So I'm starting from this screen because I, I don't know if it's gonna make us jump into a match like last time, but this is so, so exciting. I can't wait to see what Fortnite has done here, folks. Oh, man. I know I don't normally do these reaction videos, but I mean, it's a new chapter. I figured I'd ha I had to, so. Looks like we got some new music. Hmm, I dig it. I dig it. Like it a lot. Oh, oh, I'm here. Begin the next chapter. Oh, boy. I guess I was Marshmallow the last time I was on. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get on before the event to change my skin, but... I am now Marshmallow. This is going to look really stupid, isn't it? When he's just going to raise his head. Oh, man. Oh, we're here. And apparently Marshmallow is supposed to be getting a new style as well. Um, or a new skin or something. Okay. Well, this feels different. And I'm only allowed to jog. Is that somebody? Looks like it. What is that? Oh, that's one of the Battle Pass skins. Okay. We've got some people here. Yo, is that him? Yo, it's him! It's The Rock, dude! Oh, okay. Oh, I can sit with these guys. I suppose oh. I owe you an explanation. Ooh. We've all been through a lot the last few years, and there's much more you don't even remember. You've all fought a good fight. But until we set the zero point free, we'll be facing threats like the last reality. And worse, Ooh. there will be no escaping it. Oh boy. That's why I need your help to destroy the imagined order. Oh, dude. As long as they're exploiting the zero point, everything is in danger. I am a big fan With of your help, the we story can of this game. from this place and leave the loop for good. We can all go on. Leave the loop. Wait, by the end of this chapter, are we going to... Oh boy. By the end of this chapter, are we going to... And this... Oh, I think this is the trailer, actually, but... I don't, I'm just gonna... I don't think I can, actually. Oh! oh, dude, you can see it being held. Oh, dude, this is sick. Ooh, that looks... Really cool. Really, really, really cool. Alright. Wow, dude. So maybe by the end of this chapter, Fortnite will be over. I mean, that's the way he made it sound. Alright, I'm not going to buy the Battle Pass right away just because I don't want it to mess up anything, but... Ooh, here's the foundation. Um, let's take a look at him first, because he's something I think we're all excited for. So, yeah... Wow, I really am so happy that he's actually in the game. And look at that gun he's holding. Is that a railgun or something? Wow. Yeah, he looks really, really sick. I love his design. And I love, like, the little hint of it being the rock, too, with, like, the blue part representing his tattoo. That's really cool. I like that a lot. He looks really, really sick. Really, really nice. Foundation's fortune. All right, there's that. That. Um... His cape is okay. I kind of wish it covered his whole back, but it does look cool. I like the design. That's really nice. I don't know if it will only be useful for him, though. Um, and then foundational wrap. That's pretty cool, and that will be useful for Visitor and the Scientist. And then the foundation's plasma spike. So it's like Iron Man's pickaxe, but really, really cool. Um... The first thing that comes to mind for me with this pickaxe is if they add War Machine into the game. That would be a really good pickaxe to use, but... And then the rest of his rewards are not visible. Although we do see his glider in the loading screen. Now, obviously you can see the big boy right there in that picture, right? I mean, y you can see him. And well, I'm really excited to see that, but I am not going to go for that first. Alright, so we've got this skin... Includes quest to restore pieces of her ancestral armor, Shanta. Eh. Kind of reminds me of a Rogue Company character, actually, but... Eh, it's okay, not really great. Ronin? 
Hmm, he looks a little familiar to me. I don't know why, but he's really sick. I like him a lot. I love the um the swords on the side. We haven't really gotten a skin with something like that. Um, let's see. V box banner icon. Pretty cool loading screen. Looks like we'll get a secondary style for him. Um, bronze scimitars. Oh, these look sick. I wish it was only one scimitar, but I love the look of that. Um, enchanted life bloom. Oh, well, by the way, another reason I didn't want to buy the battle pass uh, immediately was because I didn't. I so you guys could see what rewards is free if you for some reason can't buy the battle pass. That's a really cool contrail. I like that a lot. Um, ancestral bloom is fine. Um, sorry, I'll be joining my friends in a few minutes, but they don't know that. Uh, V-Bucks. That's a really cool sword. I like that a lot. Blade of the Waning Moon. Pretty sick. Um, loading screens, fine. Pretty decent wrap. Also, can't help but noticing the AR looks different. That should be interesting. Um, Ronin's Mission. V-Bucks. Ronin Azure is not loading for me. Alright, there we go. It's a nice little color change there. I actually do prefer that. The Soaring Crescent. That is sick. That's a really cool looking glider, especially imagining like his alt styles. Um, Crimson Crest. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like it a lot. Um, Lunar Charge. Oh, yeah. I like that. That's cool. Ooh. wonder if that will do something for him. Little Monster. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Oh, it's a, it reminds me of the monster truck from uh, Monster Jam. The one that, like, every kid had, but, like, nobody watched the show of. Um, Trotten Shot. It's fine. It looks like his pickaxe might be built into that. Uh, loading screen. Showing off some styles. Lieutenant John Llama. Oh, dude. This was on that, um, concept skin survey, actually. I'm really glad that it's a battle pass skin. I really like the look of this, actually. <laughs> Uh, we found the banana of this season for sure. 100 V-Bucks, Banner Icon, new Contrail, forgot about this. Crescent's Flame, not too bad. Oh, there's different styles for it apparently. All oh, that blue, ooh, ooh. Getting some Pokemon vibes with the red, blue, and green. I like that a lot. Um, Ancestral Bloom Cape. Um, I don't know why it's so zoomed in, but from what I can tell, I really like the look of it. Uh, wrap. Hmm, not really as big a fan of this one. It's okay. I mean, you, you, I always take wraps because you never know when it will be useful for a skin you get in the future, but... Um, emoticon, nobody cares about emote. Love it. Okay, draws a heart. That's eh, okay, I guess. Um, loose cannon with two L's. Oh, went up a bit. Uh, yeah, I like that one a lot. Yeah, as I thought, the pickaxe is built into the back bling there. That's okay. Okay, this is a cool glider. Happy Wagon? Wooly Mammoth. Oh my goodness, I like this one a lot. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's really unique, too. Um, wow, I like that. Uh, Explorers, it's a cool loading screen. Um, Lieutenant John Llama Special Forces. Oh, it also shows alt styles for... Okay, that's cool. I'm not going to bother looking at the V-Bucks, because we all know what those are. Um, decent loading screen. Wilder Spear. Wilder Spear? Yeah, that's what that is. Ronin Vest. Oh, okay. Now he's starting to look like... Oh, he's starting to look like a Mortal Kombat character now. Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. Wait, Ronin. That's why this guy looks familiar. He literally is... Is he meant to be Ronin for Mortal Kombat? If, if not, it's a very startling similarity. Um, I'm not gonna... I don't want to hover over music just because I, I... I could get copyright claim for it. The bestiary chest. I... Okay. Oh, that must be for the new skin coming up. Uh, Nomad's treasure. Eh. It's alright. Not really a big fan of it, though. Um, Haven. Well, that kind of reminds me of Majora's Mask. So, I, I think from what I remember, this skin's, like, all about masks, and she, like, even has her own page. So, that could be cool. All gooped up. That's a good wrap. I like that. Um, gummy sack. Oh, dear. I don't like how scared they are. 
It is a cool pack bling, but they're like all... Oh no, they're all so scared. Haven backwards hat. That is a really bad style. Should not have been included. Uh, spray. Is that... Okay, that's good. I like that. The mwahaha gum brawler. Ooh, I actually do like the coloration of that. Alright, loading screen. That's cool. Gumbo! So he is a living gumball machine. And depending on how you rotate the camera, the gumballs inside his head follow it. Um... Yeah, I'm not really sure I feel about this one, to be honest. I'm not saying it's good or bad, I'm just- I just genuinely don't know how I feel about it. I think I'd have to play with it first to give my opinions. It's definitely unique. Um, I- I mean, I- I do appreciate how different it is, but I just... I don't know if I'll be rocking this one a lot. I might, I might not. I'm not sure. Um, loading screen is not what I'm hovering over. I'm hovering over a wrap. That is actually a pretty good wrap. Um... Banner icon, that's cool. Ugh, that looks like something out of Ghostbusters, actually. Oh, that would actually be perfect, though. I could use that for my Ghostbuster skin. That's actually a really good um, thing. Uh, inner sights, not too bad. I don't like that. That's a little bit too much. Um, oh, that's cool. I like that coloration a lot better. Yeah, I like... Oh yeah, yeah. This, the, if I were to rock this skin, this would be the version I'd use. Oh yeah, and that coloration for the glider too. Uh, won't be listening to that. Just wanted to show you the art for it because I do appreciate it. Harlow. Eh. I don't know. I think Harlow is a little too simple for a battle pass skin, personally. Uh, I mean, she's just kind of a girl with green, with uh, pink skin and a very standard outfit. I don't. Maybe she has a style or something to um, get me here. Uh, bladed Trap Pack. Um, not really a big fan of backpacks because of that. See, they don't like actually have like a strap. I know that would be hard to do, but it's just like you have a backpack that's just like floating on your back. Um, emoticon. Contrail. I would like this one a lot more, honestly, if the chains weren't in it. Not a massive fan of it, honestly, because of that. Uh -huh. Alright guys, sorry about that. I am back. Not that you would notice anything, but it might be a little bit of a weird cut. Alright, so we were on the loading screen. Um, that's a loading screen. Um, Wyvern X77. That is a Batman glider if I have ever seen one. Um, uh, I do... <laughs> I do like it, but it doesn't really fit with the skin. Like, this skin just has a lot of, like, techno machinery stuff going on, but then this skin is just so basic. So I don't know how to feel about it matching with that. The Spike Bat. Um, this literally looks like the bat from, um, Splicate. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's funny. I, I do like it, though. It's a good design. It's just, I think it's a little too similar to the... What do they call it? The BFB in Splicate? Um, then Ronin Cape. Um, ooh, I don't like that mask. I like the uh, hooded version, though. That's cool. Uh, and then here we go. Here's the big boy. Uh, get off of that. Okay, here's a style for Harlow. Racing suit. That apparently gives a style... That slightly changes coloration, but yes. Here is the man... We have all been waiting for since season four when Thanos dropped on the island. Just your friendly neighborhood wall crawler, the one, the only Spider Man. I love the way he looks in here. Can I be honest? I actually prefer this design to Marvel's Avengers. <laughs> I I know that's a big statement. Only problem I have with it are the eyes. Like they just seem a tad too big to me. I mean, that's just me personally. But yeah, you can really see like such intricate detail, like how the blue is like a satin material and it has like interwoven lines in it. I really love this design and I'm so glad he's finally in here. Gonna have to wait a while to get him, but finally in here. I Now, if you can tell me too where he uh, they took inspiration from, 
like what comic book artist that would be really helpful because i i can't really place it to be honest seems like it might be a mix honestly of like ultimate and ramita but i mean that's that's just me um all right let's take a look at some of the stuff in his set flip the whip eh, that's cool i guess banner icon always love to see it the view from afar that's interesting it's you <laughs> oh no way they did the point meme oh that's funny that actually could be useful though i think um especially for like imposters if that's even still a thing uh web heads knapsack uh knapsack excuse me um you see i have one tiny little problem with this back bling you know like you're meant to wear this with spider-man but my problem with it is, is that his mask is hanging out of it, even though he's clearly wearing his mask on his face. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's a secret Peter Parker style they're working on. Um, loose threads. Um, yeah, I like that. It's, they're a little bit too thick for my liking, but ultimately I do like them. They're good. Um, let's see this. Neighborly hang. Looks really cool in the Battle Pass screen, but I have a feeling when you're going to see a Spider-Man actually doing it, it's going to look really stupid because he's just going to be hanging from midair. Um, Spidey sense is tingling. That's cool. Uh, rap, Web Slinger. I don't know what it is with that spider logo. I don't like that. Like, like I appreciate like the web design, but why does it have to have a little spider on it? Um, spray, whatever a spider can. That's cool. I like that. I always like it when Spider-Man doesn't have his webs on his uh, suit. I like that more simplistic design. Uh, loading screen. That's actually... Uh, I actually don't really like the way that's drawn, to be honest. It feels like he's very disproportioned. But that's just me. Uh, Wallopin' Webhammer. I like the reference in the name. Um... I'd have to see this in game, honestly. I feel like it, it might be a little too big for my liking. And again, with that spider logo, like, why is it there? Like, it's it's something made out of webbing. Do we really need to have a spider logo on the side to tell us that it's Spider-Man? I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. Ultimately, I do like the design. I just wish that spider logo wasn't there. Um, glider. Once again, why is there a gigantic spider on it? I mean, again, like, I like the design. I just don't know what their obsession was with the spider paraphernalia. Um, but, eh. I mean, it's fine. I like it. I just kind of wish that wasn't there. And then, of course, the moment we've all been waiting for, the Tier 100 Rewards. The Symbiote Suit. What does this do? Oh, it even changes his bag, too. I like that, actually. Um, wow, look at this. They did a really, really good job. Man, we haven't seen the symbiote suit in such a long time. And see, I like the eyes here. They seem a little smaller and they work more. Oh, yeah, this is probably going to be the style I'm rocking the most, I think. Oh, yeah, I like this a lot. It looks really, really nice and clean. Ooh, that's sick. All right, but we're still not done. We still have more to look at here, folks. The Haven masks, apparently we cannot look at. That's a bit of a shame. Um, when do they come? 60 days? All right, well. Bonus rewards. Um, Lieutenant John Llama Classic. Oh, I think these were his original colors, weren't they? And then they must have decided to change them. That's cool. Ronan Emerald. Uh, it's fine, I guess. Um, Deep Future, not a bad rap. Heart, Future Frost. Okay. I'm not going to bother looking through the alt styles, because it, it'll just be easier to do once I actually unlock them. I like that banner icon. That's really good. Um, I'm actually kind of a fan of banner icons, honestly. Uh, I think it really does help complete the scent. Uh, headdress, that's fine. Um, okay, those are still... Um, let's see. Gumbo Sour. Um, I like this coloration, but not as much as his second style. Um, Haven Midnight. 
and Harlow helmet. Okay, that looks better. That looks better with the helmet. I like that better. Um, and then this. This was kind of a pleasant surprise, actually, the Future uh, Foundation suit. Um, I, I personally think there were better suits they could have picked, but, I mean, it is a really cool design. I like it a lot. Um, personally, I would have gone with maybe Spider-Man 2099 or the Iron Spider from the comics, but that's just me. I do still love this suit design, and it is really cool. I just can't see myself rocking it too, too much. And luckily, they got the eyes right compared to Insomniac. I mean, I love Insomniac Spider-Man, but the eyes just look really weird on that suit in their game. I'm glad they made it look like this. So, um, yeah, this is my Battle Pass reaction. I really, really do love what we can see so far. Um, I think the biggest takeaways from this Battle Pass are definitely the Webhead and the Rock. That's just me, personally, but... I will say, there. I mean, it's a decent battle pass. I'd give it like a 6 out of 10. I mean, I don't know. There's just a couple things in there that I just, I think I'll need to see fully. Like Haven, I'll need to see her, um, her styles with her page. She's clearly meant to have a bigger part to play later down the line. Um, I think my favorite non, um like person skin i guess like non-real world person or fictional whatever you want to call it is probably ronin ronin looks really really sick i like him a lot um lee's favorite definitely harlow um not I, I don't know she's just way too simplistic for me i feel like she should be sold in the item shop not the battle pass um though some of her old styles i do like um gumbo is a weird but one for me i don't know how i'll feel about that until i actually play with them and then same with haven i think i'll need to play with her and also unlock all of her alts but yeah um i hope you guys did enjoy this um if you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe um and i will definitely be playing more fortnite as the days come don't you worry about that um but i am really really excited to get into this so i hope you guys did enjoy this and if you did of course be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you all later goodbye